Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand noise margin and noise immunity. In the previous clip, we have found out the critical voltages and their definitions. Ideally, noise margin is a parameter which allows you to determine the allowable noise voltage on the input of a gate so that the output will not be corrupted. In simple words, this parameter tells you or this margin will tell you how much noise can be present at your gate so that your output will not be corrupted. So it's going to be very important as we go ahead to see whether the noise margin should be a higher value or a lower value and what is exactly noise margin. So let's get started here. In the previous clip we have defined these four parameters PIL, VIH, VOH and VOL and we said that input low, correct, input low, IL, input high, IH, output high, OH, output low, OL. We also saw whether this were maximum, minimum with their definitions and this was our VTC. This is what we had seen and this was VIL where we saw that my input can be anywhere from here to here which can be still interpreted as a logic zero till here so it was a maximum input low. This was my VIH so my input can be high from here and can still be high for further time or further inputs can go up to VDD. So this was the minimum input which was considered to be logic high. This was a maximum input which was considered to be logic zero VIL. VOH was nothing but we saw that your output is VOH it can still have a room to go towards VDD so it is minimum output voltage which can be considered as logic high and similarly we saw VOL the scope of going down as well towards zero so this was nothing but maximum output voltage which can be considered as logic zero so we saw these definitions now let's understand this with an example here I have drawn three inverters on the screen inverter 1 inverter 2 and inverter 3 they are interconnects interconnects are nothing but wires which are present and these wires will have some capacitance and will also get affected by noise this could be a metal wire or a polysilicon line connecting the two gates it could be anything so basically they are going to get influenced by noise and we are going to see how much noise can we tolerate so i'm presuming that my input to the first inverter inverter 1 is VOH. VOH means high. This is the output from one of the stages, right? Previous outputs, so I'm putting it as O. So this is an input input to this gate, which is a high. So if this is 1 or VDD, I'll get an output low, which is nothing but VOL. Now because of noise, this VOL can get corrupted. Again, understand that we will not say 1s and zeros now. We'll say in terms of VOH, VOLs for our better understanding. So let's get started again. Input is high as it is coming from the previous states which is termed as OH. Technically the output should be zero, but it will be VOL. Output low is VOL. Now this VOL is going through an interconnect before it goes to the next stage. Because it's a low, so here again it's an input to the second inverter. So it's input low. So it should be VIL. Now tell me how much noise present on this interconnect will not lead to an incorrect value to the input of the second inverter. Let's understand this. We know by definition that VIL is the maximum input which can be considered as logic zero. We want this guy, second inverter, to consider this input as logic zero. So VIL is a maximum. If it goes, because of noise, if the input to this inverter goes higher than VIL, then it will not be interpreted as a correct zero and it will give us a wrong value. On the same lines, has everyone followed this? On the same lines, we can also say that we know that VOL is nothing but the maximum output voltage, correct? Which can be considered as logic zero. So if this noise is corrupting the signal and taking it in such a direction that it goes down, VOL goes down, still it's fine. But if it goes above VOL, then it will be that the value is lost. In simple words, not to get confused, these are two inverters. There is noise present here. We want a zero VOL to go here, correct? At the input, because it's an input low, we'll call it VIL. We know this is the maximum value. So if the input to this inverter because of noise goes above VIL, 
then it will be interpreted as a long value. At the same time, we know that VOL is the maximum voltage which can be considered as logic zero. So because of noise, this can still go down towards zero, still it will be interpreted correctly. But if it goes above VOL, then again, it will be interpreted in the wrong way. If you have followed this, let's analyze this for inverter three. So input low means output high, which is VOH. So now to the third inverter, you want a high, this VOH means a high input. So VIH will come here and interconnect affected by noise. So tell me how much maximum noise can you tolerate? So VIH by definition is nothing but the minimum considered as logic high, correct? And you want it to consider as logic high. So it can be VIH or because of noise, the value can go higher than VIH also, not a problem. It will be still interpreted as logic high. But in case because of noise, the value goes below VIH, then this inverter will interpret a wrong value. So this is the concept of minimum and maximum and what we can allow. Now let's go ahead and see this with the graph or with the markings of VIL, VOL, VIH and VIL. 